What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. We're off to the Houston RV show. Let's go. What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, this one's a little different than the norm, but just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you like it, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. We are going down to the Houston RV show that is February 9th through February 12th. I will be there all four days. If you are in the market for your first RV or your next RV, text me and I'd love to help you out at the show. So we made it to Houston and this is my first time coming down here. So I'm just kind of getting familiar with everything right now, but we are in what I guess is considered NRG park. So you have NRG stadium over here. You have NRG arena over here in this corner. And then you have NRG center right here, which is where the RV show is taking place. So we are going to walk in here and take a look at what we got going on inside. Again, this is my first time stepping in here. I have not been in this building yet so this is just going to be a first look around at everything going on and i can tell you right now we have our holiday world set up right here as i walk in so that's great great to know that i don't have to walk far throughout here one thing i'm really excited about is we have grand design trailers so what we're going to do is i am going to just pick out some of my favorite floor plans that i've seen from each aisle or each line or size of trailer and we're just going to look at some of the coolest stuff that is out here for you to look at so you can get an idea of what's going to be out here at the show so let's go so as we look around out here we're going to go from smallest to largest which means we are going to start with the teardrop trailers that we have they are back in the corner here we have the tag xl which is going to be the smallest trailer that we have here then we have the little guy mini max and we have the little guy max which this is what i'm actually going to walk through and show you what this looks like in here this is going to be a big teardrop trailer that has a ton of space in here you actually get a full-size bed back there as well lots of ceiling height the ceiling height is almost like six five in here so lots of room plenty of room in this shower and bath combo there and this dinette table will make into a bed as well so as we walk through these, I'm gonna make this video pretty quick. These aren't gonna be real thorough in-depth walkthroughs. I just wanna show you kind of what's out here. So really cool unit there in a teardrop. And then we're gonna go just kind of up in size as we keep looking through things. So if you're just specifically looking for fifth wheels or toy haulers, things like that, you can skip further on in the video if you don't wanna see the smaller stuff. Next, we are going to have various different aluminum sided trailers, but I'm really excited to look at this 240 ml this is going to be a great couples coach here you can see it's a little bit of a longer travel trailer it's going to be about 28 feet long in total length but it's still at a good size that it's not too overbearing and let's step inside here see what it looks like luckily we got everything on really nice seating area there i really like that you have your theater seating directly across from the tv and then you have good countertop space all throughout here i'm sure there's lights up in this area as well to light that up a centered oven and stove so i like that as well and then you have the bathroom in the back corner here i've seen a similar type bathroom set up in various keystone models that i've done videos of things like the passport 229 rk this is just like a bigger version of what that is really and i like this a lot this is a very unique floor plan i haven't seen anything like this prior to stepping in this one Lots of storage in here as well. And your bedroom back here, which pretty basic looking bedroom, but this living area here is what really shines with everything you've got going on in this floor plan. This is a really cool one that definitely excited to see for the first time in person. But along with that, we're gonna have various other aluminum sided trailers of various different sizes. You can see we have our Colorados there. We'll have the Grand Design Transcend. They have some more behind here as well. And we have the Keystone Springdale. So lots of different aluminum sided trailer options for people that are looking for a lower cost option to get into camping and getting out to do what you wanna do. So we're gonna come over to the Keystone side. They do a pretty good job of making sure that the Keystone and Grand Design products are split in our display here. So we have Keystone on one side, Grand Design on the other side for the most part. This here is going to be the Springdale 1750RD. Y'all might've seen my video with big truck, big RVs that he just uploaded yesterday that we did a walkthrough of this video or a walkthrough of this unit on. So y'all can take a look at that as well. It's I think it's the most recent upload at this point or one of them. And then we'll have that. We'll also have the hideout here. This is gonna be another small travel trailer here, a single axle, but it does have a slide out. Wow, this is my first time seeing the hideout. They have nice colors in here, really light design. And then this one will have the single over single bunks in the back corner. And then we have one more Springdale back here. Another, this is gonna be a dual axle Springdale. This will be the 2010 BH. So this will be a dual axle without a slide out bunkhouse model. 
for you families with kids that are looking for a great entry level or just downsize trailer potentially as well. All right, as we go down this aisle, we got a couple different hideout trailers here. First of all, really great outdoor kitchen. So I'm just gonna hop in this one. I haven't even looked at what this is yet. It looks like it's a 318 BR. You're gonna have your bedroom up front there, spot for a TV, have a sofa and dinette table. And then, yep, it has a big bunk room back here very large size bunk room you know i just saw a i think we have a pre-owned it's a pre-owned something we have a pre-owned unit at our dallas lot right now that looks very similar to this it's just a couple years older but it's a different brand and i can't remember what it is but really nice looking floor plan there as well we have a 272 bh so another bunkhouse from transcend that looks like it's going to have the dual entrance and the bathroom entrance there then with Springdale, we have a 282 BH. So this is going to be another bunkhouse with Springdale. Then we're gonna get into our aluminum sided, or sorry, fiberglass sided trailers where we have the 221 BH. This is going to be a Murphy bed bunkhouse with a slide out and a ton of storage capacity. You can see you have all that pantry storage there as well. So a lot of storage in here. I know Passport does a great job of making sure they give you as much storage as possible. Next, going down this aisle, we're going to have, this is a 268 BH, so that's gonna be a good lightweight bunkhouse. 2730 BH from Bullet, which is basically going to be Bullet's version of what the Passport is right next to it. So two different options there. And then we're gonna go into, let's just do both of these. Cause actually, no, we're not gonna do this Passport 2870 RL because this one is very similar to what the Transcend is. It does have some different, or no, sorry, the Imagine. We looked at an Imagine that was just like this and it has a lot of similarities it does have some differences but we already looked at an imagine floor plan that's just like that one but here with bullet we have a 330 bhs which has two slide outs in it giving you an island kitchen ton of space in this bunkhouse and this is going to be a bath and a half bunkhouse so when you come back here you have the east to west facing bunks allowing for more space back here and you have a second entrance into the bunk room and a half bath this is one of my favorite travel trailer bunkhouses. It's definitely my favorite bullet bunkhouse travel trailer because of all the space it offers. It is gonna be a little bit more on the heavy side, but you get the Thomas Paine upgraded recliner furniture. And then I love that it has a pass-through bathroom. So you have a dual entrance into your main bathroom with the shower in here. And then you have your residential queen size bed in the bedroom. So some good travel trailers so far that we've seen a lot of different options here for whatever you're looking for. And I love that. I love when people get the opportunity to just see whatever it is they may be looking for in one spot. So going down this aisle, we're going to have the Grand Design Imagine and the Grand Design Transcend. I'm gonna step into a couple different floor plans as we walk down through here. First of all, you have the 21BHE from the, this is an Imagine XLS. So this is gonna be their more lightweight series. I really like this. You have the Murphy bed set up in here with a really comfortable looking couch. You can see the bed will come down there and it already comes stocked with a TV, which is something you don't typically see in this size trailer there. So really like that. And then you're gonna have the bunkhouse set up in here. I apologize for the TV noise in the background. They have everything on in here, which is what's great about coming to a show is you get to see these RVs with everything on. Oh wow, this is a really nice looking bathroom. Turn the light on in here. Really nice looking bathroom in here. A big shower. This is bigger than most showers you get in something this size. I really like that. And a lot of floor space in there as well. Really nice looking cabinetry. Definitely a fan of this floor plan here. This is really, really cool. A great layout. You can see the cabinets up there as well look really nice. So like that, that's awesome. Let's keep moving down this aisle there. We are going to go, this is a 2600 RB with Imagine. Then on this side here, you're gonna have a 2400 BH from Imagine, just basically a bigger bunkhouse version. It's kind of like what we came out of. Then I wanna step into this one. This is a 3100 RD from Imagine. This is something I have not stepped in yet, but look at this, huge storage compartment up front, very tall storage that you have there. You're also on the Imagine brand going to have the prep for a tire pressure monitoring system. So I really like that as well that they do. And then you can see kind of what the floor plan layout looks like here as we go inside. They don't have any pricing listed yet on these trailers here. I was looking to see if there's what the prices are going to be, but they don't have it on there. It's just 
the specs. So I don't know exactly what the pricing is yet. Um, you'll, you can text me at the number that I've had on the screen or at the description down below to get pricing information and things like that or schedule an appointment to come look at these units at the show. So as we come in here, this is basically going to be like a fifth wheel floor plan in a travel trailer. Very awesome setup. Look at all the floor space in here. It's absolutely huge. A backlit TV that looks incredible. You have windows all the way around, as you can see as well. Both of these sofas are going to pull out to a bed. And then you have your Thomas Payne recliners with heat and massage there as well. Lots of countertop space. You even have a pantry here. And it's going to have an east to west facing bed. No, it doesn't. Sorry. I thought it did because I didn't see it from the hallway. North to south facing bed in here. With a lot of storage space because you also have the additional wardrobe space there sliding door into the bathroom going to have a good rectangular shaped shower so you have plenty of room in there another really cool floor plan from imagine that we have out here at the show here you have a 245 rl so this is going to be a great couples coach with transcend and then on this side you're going to have a fifth wheel from reflection so we'll start getting into those and then you're going to have a big bunkhouse here with transcend so if you're looking for a bigger bunkhouse and a good budget range with the Transcend brand. We have the 321BH, which coming in here, first of all, you can see you have the outdoor kitchen. This is going to have L-shaped bunks here in the bunk room, and it's a bath and a half. So you have L-shaped bunks back here. I'm sure you'll have a place for a TV. Yep, TV backer in here as well if you wanna do a TV. And then you'll have the half bath right here as well. You got the TV on in here. I apologize for the noise on that. But you can see you have your recliner seating there going to have a good amount of kitchen space and look at this bathroom this is why I want to walk in this one it has a wall-to-wall -wall bathroom that is humongous this thing is giant so I love that and then you have your bed in here it's gonna be a queen size bed in the bedroom and then you have a second entry here as well so that's everything in this aisle let's hop over to the next one going down this next grand design aisle we're gonna have one more imagine to look at then the reflection travel trailers and fifth wheels and then the solitude fifth wheels so this Imagine here is really cool. This is a 17 MKE. This is going to be a Murphy bed model. And you can see coming in, you have a Murphy bed with a almost three cushion sofa, the freestanding table, and then look at all the floor space in here. Ton of floor space, ton of counter, oh my gosh, a ton of countertop space in here. 12 volt refrigerator, so lots of refrigerator space. And then a good bathroom space in here as well with the rectangular shower. I gotta admit, Grand Design really kills it with these floor plans here. This is a great looking floor plan for somebody looking for a small trailer. Has the TV in here as well, already comes with the TV directly across from your seating. So you don't have to worry about not being able to see the TV or having to turn your head to look at it. Love that. This is a really great floor plan too. Definitely impressed with the Imagine series so far. Next, we are going to have our more luxury travel trailers from Keystone with the Cougar and Outback. So these are both going to be comparable brands with the Reflection from Grand Design. They just have their own styles. Cougar, their unique thing is every single Cougar travel trailer comes with a king size bed. So this will be a really small travel trailer, about 26 feet in total length with a king size bed. You have your TV directly across from the recliners. And then you're going to have your rear kitchen set up here with the bathroom back here. It looks very similar to the bathroom of the... Um, I believe it was the Imagine we looked at that has a very similar bathroom as well in that back corner. King size bed in the Cougars though, something that is really nice about them. And this is going to be a full feature travel trailer with pretty much everything you could ask for on it. So that's going to be one of our, that's going to be actually the smallest Cougar travel trailer that we have. Then as we walk around here, you're going to have the 25 RDS, I believe. Let's see. Oh, where, oh, I totally looked at the wrong spot. The 25 RDS. So we looked at the fifth wheel version of this in the reflection. And now you see the travel trailer version that Cougar has of this really cool floor plan. Same thing, recliner seating right across from the TV. This is one of Cougar's most popular floor plans. Very excited to have this at the show. And you can see you have the U-shaped dinette here that's going to give you about an eight foot long bed when you set that down and make it into a bed. And then you have a full wall to wall bathroom that gives you a lot more space, rectangular shower, and again, you have a king size bed. Someone put that bed spread on sideways. We'll have to fix that. And then you have a second entrance into the bedroom as well. Reason for the second entrance into the bedroom is that allows you with the slide in to get to the bathroom without having to push your slide out. Then on this side, we're gonna have our Cougar fifth wheel, so we'll get to those in a second, but let's keep walking down this way. 
We have another bullet here. This is going to be the 221 RBS. So a lightweight couple sized trailer there from bullet. And then this one here, what could this be? This is the 30 RI. This is another bigger size um, couples travel trailer. I like this one because you get the outside TV. And then this one is going to have an island kitchen inside as well. But we're not going to walk through that one. We're going to keep going down this way and look at the outback right here because this outback is definitely sweet. You see the outside entertainment area that you get here is huge. You can also put a TV out here if you want to. And you will have the two burner cooktop that will pull out. But let's go inside and look at how amazing this outback looks. This is my favorite interior look from any travel trailer on the market right now. Looks absolutely beautiful in here. They don't even have everything turned on because I know there's LED lighting in here somewhere. Let's see. Okay, got those lights. I know there's still more lighting in here that's not turned on. Got lights in the slide out. But look at this. First of all, some people will love this. Some people will hate it. I actually love it, but you have cloth furniture. I love this because the, the leather material furniture gets really hot when it's sitting in the sun, which this won't do so much of, and I hate being hot. So I really like that. Plus, I love the way it looks with all the dark cabinetry in here. Big fan of this. I know it's a very polarizing interior design, but I'm a big fan. You also get the very big TV there with the huge fireplace and you still get campsite windows. This allows for your big outside kitchen area on your campsite as well. So love this floor plan. Great for full-time living as well because first of all, this has a tankless on-demand water heater. Then you have a pass-through bathroom, lots of storage in the bathroom. Look at how big those cabinets are. And an east to west facing bed, king size bed, and a wall to wall wardrobe with washer dryer hookups in there. This thing might just be my favorite travel trailer at this show because it is incredible. I love these Outbacks and what they've done, especially the new color design and adding the tankless on demand water heater. Slam dunk, absolutely love it. Next, we're gonna have the reflection, which is going to be a you know bigger style travel trailer from Grand Design. So we have the 315 RLTS coming in here. This is going to be a three slide travel trailer. So you're gonna start getting bigger appliances in here like this big Furion refrigerator, solid surface countertops. And then you're gonna have your dinette, campsite windows, big campsite windows, Thomas Bain recliner seating, TV there, fireplace, pantry. And then what most people will really like about this is first of all, good size bathroom with a good size rectangular shower it seems like that's a trend with grand design they do that rectangular shower and pretty much everything it looks like but look at this bedroom you have the bed slide giving you all this floor space here and then look at the wardrobe the wardrobe is very impressive have a spot for a tv there coming back into this wardrobe space motion activated lights and a ton of room in here love that design that is a really great design for the wardrobe space. Let's get out of here, hop down to the next one. Again, that's a three slide unit. You're gonna have awnings on both your slide out and right here as well. So two awnings on it as well. Gonna be getting up in the price point range of a travel trailer at this point in something like a reflection. So that's gonna be everything with the travel trailers. Now let's get into the mid profile, then full profile fifth wheels. Now let's look at this. This is gonna be the reflection um, fifth wheels here. This is going to be almost what would be like a half ton towable style fifth wheel. I don't know exactly what the weight is on it, but it's a smaller size fifth wheel. You're gonna have the U-shaped dinette back here with the telescopic um, table. That's a nice feature there as well. Then you have the three cushion sofa here right across from your TV again. That's something that Grand Design is really adamant about, making sure that seating is directly across from the TV, plus it'll swivel. And then you'll have all this countertop space and the big refrigerator here. Going up into the bedroom, has a sliding pocket door, so really easy to get up to the bedroom. Nice looking bedroom space. And then you're going to have your bathroom here. Nice size bathroom as well, and a really good design, porcelain toilet. Looks good, love it. This is very similar to the Cougar 24 RDS um, that they make in a fifth wheel version as well. This is just slightly longer, I believe. So I really like this floor plan as well. The three cushion sofa is awesome. 
So we have a few different Cougar fifth wheels here. This is the 316 RLS. This is gonna be our traditional rear living fifth wheel with a dual vanity, dual sink bathroom. So great for couples that may be wanting to live in something full time or just have more space. Plus it has an east to west facing bed. So lots of wardrobe space in there as well. Then with the uh, this one here, I wish the lights were on in it on everything, but this is the 24 RDS. So this is going to be that Cougar travel trailer we went through, the 25 RDS. This is just the fifth wheel version of it. Pretty much the exact same thing. Then we're gonna come walk down to this one here and we'll actually step into this one because this is going to be the Cougar 29 RKS. And this is going to be one that's labeled as half ton towable in their half ton towable line. I wouldn't actually recommend towing this with a half ton truck unless it's like fully spec to the max with your towing capacity and payload capacity. Cause it's a pretty big fifth wheel. Look at all the space you have in here with the rear kitchen. Get a big TV here, the fireplace, ton of space back here and a ton of seating space. Love this floor plan. Gives you so much floor space. And then you're gonna have a queen size bed in here, wardrobe slide out, shower with a seat in it, and some storage in the bathroom. So love the Cougar brand. A lot of y'all know my family has a Cougar 364 BHL. I'm a big advocate for Cougar and definitely love their product. All right, coming down this way, we're gonna have our Cougar and Avalanche side. You already know the Avalanche 390 DS is here. So we're definitely gonna look at that one real quick. But we have the Cougar 364 BHL. This is the one my family has. This has the second full bedroom in the back with the half bath. So this will be a true two bedroom fifth wheel from Cougar. And then with Sprinter here, we'll hop inside the Sprinter fifth wheel because this is going to be their 32 BH. This is going to be a good budget point fifth wheel to get you into a two bedroom bath and a half situation. You have all your seating in here with your big campsite windows. And then you'll see coming in here, you have the bunk that flips down there, plus that'll make into a bed. So you actually have seating in here for a second hangout spot, spot for a TV, another bunk, and then you have a half bath in here so that the kids can have their own bathroom or whoever's staying back here. This is a hundred inch wide body construction fifth wheel. So you have a lot of floor space in here, good looking kitchen space. And then this thing is not too big. It's only like 36, 37 feet long. So it's gonna be pretty lightweight for you as well. And it's a very good starter bunkhouse fifth wheel. You can see you had a dual entrance into the bathroom. So you can go directly from the bedroom to the bathroom. And then you have a full profile front cap giving you a flat line ceiling through here, which I don't think you'll find anything else in this price point with a flat line ceiling in the bedroom like this one has. So lots of bedroom space, plus you have the second entrance into the bathroom. This thing, I don't know exactly where the price point's at, but these typically fall somewhere in that sixty to $70,000 price range for a fifth wheel with a full profile front cap. Pretty cool. Let's keep going down this way and we'll look at possibly one more Sprinter. I don't know what this is here. I really have no clue. This is a 3670 FLS. We're gonna go in this one because I have never seen this before. This is my first time seeing this Sprinter. But this is gonna be a Sprinter front living floor plan. Whoa, very nice looking front living setup there. I love the shelving. Again, this is a full profile fifth wheel or full profile front cap, but this is priced in a mid profile fifth wheel price point. So that's what makes Sprinter so appealing. Plus, plus it's a hundred inch wide body construction. Then you're gonna have a ton of countertop space. My goodness, a ton of countertop space in here. Wow, lots of storage space. You get an actual residential size microwave. And then what's so cool about this floor plan, I already know, yeah, you're gonna have full height shower. So you don't actually have to worry about ceiling height in your shower as that's gonna allow for someone that's probably about 10 feet to shower in this shower without any problem. So that's a big appealing point to this fifth wheel right here. And then you're gonna have full wall to wall wardrobe there, king size bed and I'm guessing washer dryer prep in here. Hopefully, yep, washer dryer prep. This is actually a really appealing floor plan because of that bathroom. Very few front living floor plans uh, have a flat floor going all the way back to the bedroom that allows for this full height shower, but this is going to be one of the few out there. Plus it just looks really good. It's a great looking fifth wheel and I know this is gonna be at a great price point. It's gonna be much lower than your you know, luxury fifth wheel front living floor plans. And then finally, we have the 3590 LFT. This is gonna be a mid bunk model from Sprinter. Let's go to the Avalanche side. We're gonna jump straight to my favorite unit, 
This here is the 378BH, has a great outdoor kitchen area and outdoor entertainment area. This is gonna be a traditional bunk style, bunk and a half fifth wheel. But then here we have the Avalanche 390DS and we're just gonna go on through the back. You can see you got your loft space up there. We've looked at this a bunch of times on my page. Y'all probably already know exactly what this is, but you have the full bathroom in the back entrance here. This is the second full bath and the second full bedroom here. So glad we have this at the show because this is the most popular fifth wheel in the world right now. This floor plan is incredible. You can see they got it staged and everything because they know this is, this is that one. This is that fifth wheel that everybody wants to look at. So they got it staged in here and everything looking nice. And the reason everybody loves it so much is look at this loft. I have yet to see a kid not go crazy when they see the amount of space up in this loft area. It is absolutely huge. It is 33 inches tall, nearly nine feet long. Absolutely incredible space and kids love it. Plus, we haven't even got to the main bedroom yet and your main bathroom where you're going to have a pass-through bathroom here, residential fiberglass one-piece shower, and then a king-size bed, full wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe with washer-dryer hookups and a bench in the bedroom. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. And I know that we have a great price on this at the show. I don't know exactly what it is. I did see it, but I don't remember. And that's gonna be one that I know everybody is going to be waiting to see. So from here, I think we're gonna be getting into the solitudes. We have one more reflection here and one more on the other side, but I'm gonna skip those. And these are gonna be, this is like a rear living setup. Um, we're gonna hop into this solitude right here. This is going to be a mid bunk solitude, first of all. Look at this fridge you get out here. Really nice looking fridge. You have the griddle and then really tall pass-through storage compartment. You're getting into a full profile fifth wheel here. So fully laminated walls. This is something they are very adamant about talking about with Grand Design and the Solitude brand is the fully laminated side walls. But look when you come in here. Beautiful looking design there. The mid bunk. Great amount of space. Now Solitude is a 101 inch wide body construction, 101 inch wide body construction. Sorry, I don't know why I said that weird. So you have a ton of floor space in here and they make a beautiful looking unit. A lot of lighting in here that really brightens it up to help with what the darker cabinetry is. But I like the flooring. You have that, you know, basically flush design here in the slide out where you can hardly even tell where that carpeting starts. I really like that as well. It looks really clean in here. Three cushion sofa back here to lay down. You have a retractable TV. That is cool too. So you get the window back behind there, speakers up above. Four burner insignia cooktop with a pantry, pretty much a residential size oven at this point in that insignia cooktop. And then you have your residential size microwave here. Looks like gonna be just a standard residential size microwave. A lot of countertop storage space all in this area. And then the mid bunk obviously is what shines with this you got this pull out sofa a lot of ceiling height in here because there is no loft up above and you get the second bunk there plus let's walk inside here so you can see you're gonna have all the storage space all up above and a desk space here as well so this is great for people that may want to be living on the road with kids and need space for them to maybe do homework and things like that really beautiful looking shower everybody knows that solitude makes a great looking shower with the multiple shower heads that you have access to and then the removable bench. So, or bench that flips up, I should say. And again, a great looking design. Then going into the bedroom, you're going to have the king size bed in here with your wall to wall pantry, or not pantry, wall to wall wardrobe storage. Slide this over and it will have washer dryer hookups in here as well. So you'll be able to take this out and put a washer dryer here if you wanna do that. Plus you have a TV in the bedroom because this is going to be getting into what would be a full feature fifth wheel. This also looks like, oh, that's cool. Has a little lift up spot there as well. I like that they put all this stuff here to tell you to make sure to lift it up there so you notice that it's there. So beautiful looking mid bunk, definitely a fan of this one. Um, I like that it has the two bunks in the bunk area there if you're looking for a mid bunk like that. As we head over to the next aisle, I wanna point out some of the other solitudes we have here. We have a 375 RES, and then we're also going to have, this is gonna be the front living, the 380 FL. But there's one other solitude I wanna go look at real quick. Look at the pass-through storage on this 380FL. Tons of rear storage on this one. That is pretty incredible as well. So that's gonna be a front living solitude that you have here.
So we have another reflection here. Then we're gonna have the Solitude 390 RKR. First of all, huge <laughs> rear storage compartment with the slide out tray on the back. This might be my absolute favorite fifth wheel at the show. I'm not sure yet, but this one here is absolutely incredible. You'll see why it's gonna be a rear kitchen setup and you can tell you have the elevated rear kitchen. Look at how massive this storage compartment is. Absolutely huge. You could almost fit a twin size bed this way inside that storage compartment. That's crazy. But look, coming inside here, all this floor space looks beautiful in here. You got the Thomas Paine recliners and look at that kitchen. That is a kitchen, boy. My goodness, you have the bar stools right here to oversee your living area, equal with the height of your TV. Beautiful looking kitchen space. You have a ton of countertop space in here. The Insignia four burner cooktop, which you don't usually see in a slide out kitchen like that. So I love that as well. Residential refrigerator. This thing is an absolute killer floor plan. I'm definitely making a more um, extended video of this one. So be on the lookout for that, but definitely excited to make an extended video of this. It is also, dishwasher prep so you can put a dishwasher in here as well if you want to let's go down into the bedroom and bathroom you can see you have an east to west facing bed in there great looking bathroom you got the dual sinks the huge mirror that's backlit and then of course the awesome looking grand design shower with the multiple shower heads and a porcelain toilet then coming in here you got a full wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe plus you'll have washer dryer prep in there it's just absolute killer floor plan and a full feature fifth wheel so you have tvs in the bedroom as well or a tv in the bedroom this thing is going to be tough to beat i don't know if there's anything better than this out here we got one more solitude right here this one is going to be the 310 gk and then we're going to hop over to the montana side where we'll look at the montana and alpine from keystone which will be their luxury fifth wheels we'll start with the alpine here we just came from the 39 or the 390 rk with solitude this is going to be the what's the 3910RK with Alpine. Now the advantage to Alpine versus Solitude is Alpine is going to be much less expensive than what the Solitude is. And it's going to have some features like a tankless on-demand water heater, electric power cord reel, stuff like that. So going inside, it's a hundred inch wide body construction. So wide body construction, just like the Solitude. You can see they have this one staged as well. Cause again, this is one of those floor plans where this is that floor plan. You have the same insignia four burner cooktop here with the um, closet space there as well. There are lights all throughout here that they don't have turned on. And then it has your huge living area here. I love the flexibility of this space. If you want to take that dinette table out, it is just screwed to the sidewall there. So it is all bolted there. You could take that out. You could take that sofa out and do whatever you want with this space. Make it what you want, make it what feels comfortable, but a huge floor space here. And then you have a half bath. And this is what's crazy. Your washer dryer prep is actually in this half bath here so it doesn't take up any wardrobe space. So you can put the washer dryer in here and not lose any wardrobe space. All soft closed cabinets, by the way. King size bed, bench in the bedroom, and then you have the half bath because coming up into the full bathroom, it is a bathroom in the front cap that is ginormous, dual sinks with their own mirrors. You're gonna have a fiberglass, one piece residential style shower and then a full wall to wall wardrobe setup. So in my opinion, I think the solitude may look a little bit more elegant than this, but this comes with some really great features at a lower price point and still gonna give you all the space that you're looking for in a beautiful look at this wheel. So let's hop out of this one, go down to the next one. This looks like it's going to be a 3712 KB, I believe that's going to be their front living floor plan with the, um, it's going to have the four foot by four foot shower. So I just did a video of that one on my page that you can go take a look at. We have another avalanche here and then we have a Montana high country here. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting to see this floor plan. I'm excited about this one. This is the 351 BH. This is brand new from Montana. This is a bunkhouse, but look at this. It gives you a full seating arrangement in a bunkhouse floor plan. I'm definitely doing an extended video of this one because I've been waiting to see this one. You see, you get all the seating, you get two seats there, two seats here and a booth dinette. And it's still a bunkhouse with a huge TV, big kitchen space that you have pantry as well, and steps up into a bunk room space here with full size bunks. I mean, you could fit two people on each of these bunks here. This is a killer floor plan. I love this. You're also going to have an east to west facing bed with a windshield. So you have a windshield there. You're going to have washer dryer combo prep there as well and you have your toilet behind this door here 
Corner shower with a seat, that is new. Haven't seen that in a corner shower yet. King size bed with the windshield and more storage there as well. Very cool floor plan. We'll definitely be doing an extended video on this one later on. All right, let's head down this way. This is gonna be the Montana 377 FL. This is the front living with a full loft up above here. You can see this is the bed slide with the loft overhead. I've done at least one or two videos of this one, so we're not gonna walk through that. And then that is going to bring us to the Montana. This looks like it's a 3121 RL. This is going to be your, pretty much your, you know, 35 foot fifth wheel, luxury fifth wheel from Montana. And this is in their bourbon interior color. So you're gonna have the gray cabinets with the dark sofas here. They need to turn the rest of these lights on because it doesn't look like a Montana until you turn all the lights on. Get this on as well, dimmer switch there. Still don't have all the lights on because there is also LED lighting in this one as well. There we go. Now it looks like a Montana. Woo, that makes a huge difference when you turn on all the LED lights. And this is new. Oh, wait. Those are not even LED lights. They're, well, they are, but they're not part of the LED light strips. But they did not have these LED lights in here before. So that is definitely new. I do not remember that. Looks beautiful in here. Big TV, big fireplace, JBL sound system, three cushion rear sofa. Really nice looking dinette table, big campsite windows. And then you're going to have east to west facing bed, beautiful bowl sink in the bathroom and a fiberglass one piece shower in here with a big storage compartment back there. Goes all the way back as you can see. Soft closed cabinets in here as well. And a TV in the bedroom. Plus you have washer dryer prep in there as well. King size bed and really great. Just, you know, right around 35 foot floor plan for people looking for those shorter fifth wheels. This is a 3231CK, so that's gonna have your chef's kitchen in there with the dual vanity, dual sink bathroom. And then here, this is one I haven't got to do a video of yet. This is the Montana 3931FB. You can see it has the 400i solar flex system, so 400 watts of solar with the capability to run your outlets off of solar. Full body paint scheme with a legacy package. So this is going to be one of your most high priced fifth wheels here at the show absolutely beautiful in here this is their cottage white interior and this is a front bath model so you'll see that in just a second they give you some extra storage space here so really built for full-time living giving you that extra storage space and then you're gonna have the big tv you have a pantry in the kitchen really elegant looking fifth wheel i love the black finishes along the ceiling with the vents from the ac and you have three acs on this fifth wheel as well tons of storage space here then coming up into this area you have a half bath Really big looking half bath that looks very beautiful in there. That thing, this is better than almost any apartment you could find in any major city across the country. This thing is so elegant looking. It's crazy. You have a TV in the bedroom, Wi-Fi router installed from the factory as part of the legacy package, more wardrobe storage there. And then your front bath. This is my first time even seeing this. I did not even step into this prior to recording. Fiberglass one piece shower and look at how beautiful your bathroom setup looks looks so nice and then a full wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe here as well which i don't believe oh they added some shelving in here but yeah your washer dryer prep isn't in here so your washer dryer prep is actually going to be in the half bath i'm pretty sure that's what i imagine yeah it's probably going to be oh where would it be it's a great question it's not in the half bath nope you know what Wash and dryer prep is probably in here. Let's see what it's got in here. Got a plug. Yep, there it is. Okay, so washer dryer would actually go in this area if you did want to put a washer dryer in this floor plan. So that's this Montana 31 or 3913 FB. Let's make sure I'm looking. Yep, 3931 FB. Really beautiful, elegant looking Montana. And then we got one more Montana over on this side as well. This is going to be, what have we got here? This is a long one as well. Oh, the 3781 RL. I haven't got to make a video of this yet. This is about a 41 foot fifth wheel here. Um, dual vanity, dual sink bathroom. And then look at how big this kitchen space is. Huge kitchen, gives you a massive island here with all this countertop space. Amazing layout in here. This thing looks great as well. Again, designed for full-time living with the extra storage that you get in here three cushion sofa, big TV, big fireplace. And then look at all this storage space you have in the island. 
washer dryer prep is going to be in that closet right there when you walk in. And then look at this bathroom. I already know it looks beautiful. I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, that thing looks good. You have a porcelain toilet there. And then again, fiberglass, one piece shower. Plus there should be, yep, some storage behind the door as well. They also have magnetic latches for that door, which I love that, holds that in place. Finally, you have a slide out here and here in the bedroom. So a dual slide bedroom. That's something I forgot about this floor plan. So much floor space when you walk in here. Plus you get the TV and the slide out, all that additional wardrobe storage. This is a great full-time living Montana. Full wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe back here. Looks beautiful. Wow, I haven't seen this floor plan in a long time because we just haven't got one in stock in Dallas. I am in love with this thing. This thing is amazing. All right, we're almost done here. We're gonna hop over to the toy hauler and motorhome side. So we'll start with the motorhomes and look at some of these. We have a few different Class C motorhomes. We have the Prism here that's gonna be on the Mercedes chassis coming inside. It's a 24 CBS. We'll peek our head in here real quick. Real small floor plan with one slide out, plus you have the bunk overhead. Going to be great for people looking for something. But the Mercedes chassis, and you know that is a smaller uh, motorhome about 24 25 feet and then you have the quantum here which is also going to be on the mercedes chassis and is going to be about the same size just a much different floor plan layout and a different look inside here so you actually get a sofa and dinette really nice look in here actually this has like a class a motorhome style feel and you actually have a little bit bigger bed space here it is like a full-size bed so a little small on the bedside but it is a rear slide out so it does give more space there and that is the uh, ds24 from quantum another quantum here this is going to be another smaller floor plan on the mercedes chassis and that is the mb24 take our head in here real quick these are products that we don't get in Dallas, so I don't see these often, but this has a Murphy bed there. You can see the bed is going to fall down there. That will collapse and the bed will fall down. So it gives you all this floor space when you're not using the bed. Plus you have a full wall to wall bathroom back there with a lot of storage, I'm sure. So another, this is a really cool motorhome floor plan. I love this. This is great. And you can see you have the privacy curtain that goes all the way around the bed if you need that. <laughs> So these are all gonna be on the Mercedes chassis, a little bit more expensive. If you're looking for something on the little bit less expensive end, we have things like the Conquest here, which this is going to be a bunk model from Conquest, if I remember, if I am seeing this correctly. This is the, the no, this is the uh, 6314D. I have not seen this one before. This is going to be on the Ford chassis. This is probably a Ford, um, F450 chassis, but this is going to give you a big bathroom here and a bed in the slide out. So lots of floor space all throughout here, lots of storage, big shower there. And you have a, I'm sure this has a dividing door here. Surely something has to, huh? Actually, you know what? That's a little interesting. I guess if you want, oh, wow, that's interesting. So if you want privacy, you just close that door. That's what gives you your privacy back here. Wow, that is a very interesting design with that. That's what is working as your door for full privacy in that bathroom area. So this is going to be on the, yeah, the E450 chassis from Ford. And then you have the Leprechaun here by Coachman. This is going to be another bigger size um, motorhome. This is the 319 MB. So gonna be around 32 feet. Really nice looking here. You have a retractable TV, big U-shaped dinette table, plus the recliner seating across from the TV and this is all in the slide out. And then you have a similar bathroom set up back here. No bedroom in the slide, but you do have a wardrobe in the slide out. Let's keep going. Let's look at some of the class B's and then the bigger class A motorhomes. All right, we got this really cool scope class B motorhome. This thing is tiny, really small. It's on a Ram 1500 Promaster chassis. Look how small this thing is real small i mean this thing you can get absolutely anywhere this is going to convert into a bed space there and then you'll have your two swivel seats here great couples or single person class b motorhome with a rear exit door where your bathroom is at has really great finishes all high gloss cabinetry soft closed cabinetry and then you have really cool features like you're going to have your touchscreen control panel that works just like a tablet and thing looks really dang cool so that's going to be the only class b motorhome that we have here then we have the big bad boy class A uh, 
motorhomes. We have the big diesel pushers here and then we're gonna have some gas ones back over there. So we'll start here with this Pursuit. Um, I will be completely honest, at my Dallas store, we don't get new Class A motorhomes in, so I don't get so much exposure to this product. But the great thing about coming to the show is all our factory reps are here at the show. So you can get a lot of your questions answered from, from <laughs> wow, can't speak, trying to go too fast. You can get a lot of your questions answered from factory reps that actually work at the factory every day and may have even more information than a salesperson like me. But if you wanna come look at Class A Motorhomes, don't hesitate to reach out to me. If I don't have the answers for you, I will make sure we get paired up with somebody that can answer every single one of your questions and make sure you will get taken care of both through your purchase and after your purchase as well. If it's not me, I will make sure somebody else who is more equipped in knowledge on these products or on these products will help out with that and make sure you're taken care of properly. So you're gonna have a pass-through bathroom on this one. This is the bunk model and this is on a um, Ford V8. Uh, it has the Ford V8 engine on it, which I imagine means it's gonna be on a Ford chassis as well. So a gas class A motor home. Then we have a full body paint motorhome here. This looks like this is the sports coach. This one looks really beautiful. Let's hop up in here. This is the 376 ES. Really nice looking motorhome. Really white, bright colors. And this is a mid bunk as well. Has this little bunk space in here. Extra little additional sleeping space. And then, wow, very bright looking motorhome in here. Tons of storage space. I love this setup back here. This looks great. That's a very good looking setup. I'm sure you have, yep, a bunch of additional storage and your bathroom in here with the shower. So that's the sports coach. And then we'll go to, let's see, I've been, every single one of these I keep walking into, there's people inside of them. Like you can see someone walking inside here. We have this Discovery LXE that is absolutely humongous. This is the 44B. You can see it's the Fleetwood Discovery 44B. Has the rear bath set up with an additional bunk. This thing is huge. This one and this Ventana, I think that's how you say it, are just massive Class A motorhomes. This is, um, let's see, this one, yeah, it was Fleetwood. This is going to be a Newmar. So these are gonna be the biggest Class A motorhomes that we have here. You can see these things look absolutely stunning on the outside. I couldn't even imagine driving one of these things. I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, I'm not intimidated by driving most things, but these here are some big, bad motorhomes. These things are absolutely crazy. I'm going to hop up inside one of these just waiting for people to clear out. All right, so this here, again, is the 44B from Discovery. And look at that. Looks even more beautiful on the inside than it does on the outside. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what the price point is on this thing. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Y'all can text me at the number in the description down below and I can figure out pricing for you. But you definitely gotta come check this thing out in person for yourself. Have the retractable bed there to clear out all this floor space. TV right here and this is a really cool floor plan for a motorhome. Oh my gosh, great looking bathroom. You have the shower here. Big, almost residential size shower. And look at this, two more bunks back here. This is a killer floor plan for people looking to sleep additional guests. Amazing. And I'm sure it has a retractable bed up front as well. It looks so beautiful. Yep. This is going to have a height of loft up here. So you will have that loft up there as well. And another TV here. So TVs all around and really comfortable look. I mean, look at how comfortable those captain chairs look. This is an incredible floor plan. I absolutely love this thing. You even have a dishwasher down there, I'm sure. This is crazy, I love this. And then this here is the new Marventana. I really hope I'm saying that right. It's a 4369 model. Same thing, entry from the front here and looks beautiful as well. You can see they're getting ready to stage it all for the show. Retractable, big TV there. Really big kitchen space that you have. And then another really cool floor plan. I mean, look at this little dinette slash work area that you have, residential size refrigerator, bathroom in there, and then has the bed in the slide out, has wardrobe in the slide out. This is actually a full wall slide. So that goes all the way from the chairs up there, the recliners, all the way back to here in the slide out. And then it's going to have this rear bath back here. I'm sure there's washer dryer in here. Yep, washer dryer combo. Same size shower in the last one that we looked at, but a little different. You have two shower heads there, really nice design. Full wall wardrobe along the back. 
double sinks. I mean, this thing, absolutely phenomenal. This is an incredible solar plan. This thing is beautiful. Two amazing class eight diesel pushers that we have here with great floor plan designs for whatever you may need. Finally, we're gonna wrap it up with the toy haulers. We have the Carbon 358 here. This is going to be a great entry level toy hauler on a dual axle that's gonna be well over, well under $100,000. I think it's in the $80,000 range. And then we have the Fusion Impact, which is a similar thing as well. Same thing, dual axle that's gonna be well over, well, well under $100,000. I don't know exactly where the pricing is at, but similar pricing to what the Carbon is. And then, let's go down this aisle here so those are both going to be keystone products and actually you know what just to keep it cohesive let's go down the keystone aisle and look at some of these that are down this aisle here this is the 430 this is one of the most popular toy haulers on the market right now it has the patio on the back plus two entrances but this thing is so popular because you have l-shaped sofa seating in here and two full bathrooms so as we come inside you'll see you have the l-shaped sofa there two more recliners here nice looking kitchen space you're going to have an east to west facing bed allowing for washer dryer hookups in the bedroom plus you have a fiberglass one-piece shower in your bathroom here in this corner that's the second or i guess the main um, bathroom plus you have on-demand tankless water heater in the fusion so we walk back this way you will have the loft overhead there and then you have your tv and fireplace here as well this is going to have about a 12 and a half, 13 foot garage. You do have the tinted glass patio doors going to your patio out there. The bunks that'll drop down, the sofas. Full feature fifth wheel, so three ACs can run all three at the same time. You have the TV in the garage. And then a full bath back here with a tub. Great for kids. It's one of the only toy haulers out there with a second full bath. So absolutely love that. This is one we get calls on all the time. So very excited to have this at the show. We're gonna hop out this uh, garage space here. We have the Raptor 415 with the 15 foot garage. So if you need a 15 foot garage, we have that here. The Raptor 429 with the side patio. I know everybody loves this model. So we'll go back through the um, patio space into the garage. Again, tinted glass doors. All Raptors come equipped with a backup camera from the factory. It's hard to see with the lights, but you have a backup camera there. Full feature toy hauler as well. So you have the TV back here. This is about, a, again, a 12 and a half foot garage washer dryer hookup in the garage, half bath, and huge TV here out on your side patio. Plus it's all covered by the awning. So you'll be in the shade here, able to hang out. The back patio has awning coverage as well. And then Raptor did a great job with their interior design this year. I'm a big fan. It can be a little bit of a polarizing look, but I absolutely love it. You have the big TV here with the fireplace, residential size refrigerator. And then this one will have a great looking bathroom with a fiberglass one piece shower as well. Plus Raptor does a little cool thing where you get wireless charging on your nightstands. So you'll have that as well. Plus a TV in the bedroom. Let's hop out of this one, go down to the next one. Oh, that's it. Let's hop over. So that's gonna be all of our um, Keystone toy haulers. This one here is the Fusion 419, so another 15 foot garage toy hauler there. And let's hop over to the Grand Design side. On this Grand Design side, we have two more motorhomes here. This one is on the Ford V8 chassis. That might be a gas motorhome there as well, Class A's. I'm not gonna walk through those, but just know that these are here as well. And then this one here, this is going to be the Grand Design Momentum. Let me actually go up front so we can see what the model is on this. This is their Momentum G Class. This is a travel trailer toy hauler. So I forgot to show that actually. Travel trailer toy hauler. This is a 31G. And coming inside, going to have a pass-through bathroom there that will go into the bedroom. Really nice looking bedroom with the backlit mirror. That's gonna be a queen size bed. You're gonna have your three cushion sofa in the slide out. And then this looks to be about a 12 and a half foot garage or so with your recliner, or not recliners, your sofas, drop down bed, and your half bath back here in the garage. So that's the Momentum 31G travel trailer toy hauler. We have one more travel trailer toy hauler here as well. This is going to be one of those open concepts where you actually pull your toys into the living area when you put your sofa and things up. So that will be an even smaller toy hauler there with the 25CS, or 25G, why'd that look like a CS to me? 25G. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a 25 CS. Then coming up here, we got two different momentum fifth wheel toy haulers. 
So let's start with this one on this side. This is going to be your M class and is a 395 MSR. Coming inside, really nice lighting in here. It's super bright. You can see they're still putting everything together inside here. This is a really popular floor plan because of all the seating. First of all, it looks really cool in here. You're gonna have your two recliner seats. They're putting all this together. These actually snap in place, but you have your L-shaped seating here, two recliners here, and your dinette. This might offer more seating than any other toy hauler I've ever seen. And then look at your kitchen. It is beautiful. I understand why people think this looks so beautiful and appealing. It does. Grand design, people out there, you're right. These do look amazing. They do look great. And you have the Insignia cooktop here as well. So very beautiful looking toy hauler. Pass through bathroom. Going to have your sink and vanity there, toilet here. We're actually going to go through the bedroom into the bathroom. It's going to have, this looks like it's a king size bed, just about. Uh, might be a queen though. It's really hard for me to tell. I think it's a king, I'm pretty certain. But you have it kind of rounded off there, so it is kind of a custom shaped mattress, it looks like. And then you're going to have big nightstands, wardrobe storage here in the slide out. And then you're going to have the same type of shower you would have in the solitude as well. So this is a beautiful looking toy hauler. Let's walk back to the garage here. This one is going to have a 15 foot garage, but again, you're, oh, actually, no, sorry. This one doesn't have the bathroom setup in it. So it's a true 15 foot garage. And I did misspeak on the other one. The one next to us here, this momentum that we just came out of does have a 14 foot garage, but it does have that bathroom that gets in the way a little bit. So you're gonna have a 15 foot garage in here, plenty of space for all your toys. And then you have the patio off the back with the awning back here. You can see what it looks like with some of your chairs out here that you'll have as well. So beautiful looking toy haulers from Momentum. And that is just about everything that we have here at the Houston RV show. I'm really excited. I'm like working up a sweat here, trying to walk through all these RVs and show you everything that's out here. So hope you appreciate it. Hope you got a good look of everything that's gonna be out here at the show and really excited to meet a lot of y'all. If you're coming to the show and you are actively in the market looking for your next RV, you can text me up at this number here and I would love to help you out and help you find your next RV here at the show. If you saw something that you like and you're looking for more information on it, you can text me here as well. You do not have to be present at the show to purchase an RV here at the show and get the special show pricing. So you can text me here at the number on the screen, even if you don't plan on coming to the show, if you've seen something that you like. And then finally, be on the lookout for more full feature videos of some of the stuff that we saw here. I am going to be busting my butt this entire weekend to get a bunch of videos up of these different RVs that are out here as well. So really excited about that. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you at the show.